Order. Order. The eyes to the right, 354. The nose to the left, seven. Seven. Who are you? Who are you? The eyes to the right, 354. The nose to the left, seven. The eyes have it, the eyes have it. Oh, look! <laughs> we now come to the motions three, four before us. Bill Wigan to move, so Bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I beg to move. The question is, as on the order paper, as many of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. The question is that this house do now adjourn. As many of the opinions say aye. Aye. We now come to. I'm just going to let the room clear before I come to Helen Morgan. Thank you. Should we move it? Yeah. Yeah. The question is this house to where we adjourn. Helen Morgan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On Thursday, I was delighted to attend an annual reception at RAF Shawbury in my constituency. This important base trains helicopter pilots for all the armed forces, and we're very proud to host it in North Shropshire. However, I'm less proud, or indeed not proud, of some of the accommodation provided for service families there. This Armed Forces Week, I've had to secure an adjournment debate to raise the issue of unacceptable repair and maintenance and the poor overall state of the housing, as it has become increasingly apparent that service families who live both in Shawbury and at the barracks in Turnhill in my constituency have not always been able to return to safe and warm houses at the end of each day. Worryingly, this situation has worsened since the maintenance contract was restructured and excuse me, renegotiated in April 2022. Let me provide you with some examples. One of my constituents had a roof in need of full repair and a bird cover on the chimney. This repair simply didn't happen. My constituent wrote to me that we still get massive crows falling down our chimney, but we have learned to live with it. A second family endured severe damp and mould and their children suffered ill health as a result. They wrote, My children have been month, ill for months due to damp and mould never being resolved. We've never had much, as much as a call back to arrange a visit. We called yesterday to erase a, a repair with water pouring out of our pipes outside. It was classed as non-urgent, so no appointment was made. This morning, we have woken up to no running water in our property, none. We cannot flush the toilet, we cannot wash our hands, we cannot access basic human rights. When I called Pinnacle to raise this issue, I have been told it's non-urgent and they will keep the job open, but no guarantee anybody will fix it today. At the reception on Thursday, I met a serviceman whose family had suffered damp and mould, no heating in their utility room, blocked guttering, and had had to wash using a bucket because the water pressure was too low to shower. This final issue had been going on for three years. Another case. We were out without heating from the 5th of December 2022 until the 6th of January 2023, with two young children aged two years and the other six months. Does the Honourable Lady give way? I will give way. Can I commend the Honourable Lady for uh, North Shop Shopshire for bringing this forward? Uh, and does the Honourable Lady not agree that the fact that 46% of, of, uh, uh, of the personnel are married or in a civil partnership and 23% in a long term established relationship outlines the importance of family? in the support network of our service personnel. The standard of accommodation in which we put our families is a vital